Zan Gaudioso is best known for her contribution to the best-selling series Chicken Soup for the Teenage Soul. She also co-authored the award-winning book The Buddha Next Door: Ordinary People, Extraordinary Lives. She has also worked on a documentary on happiness and wrote weekly blogs on the same topic. The story A house is not a home is an extract from Chicken Soup for the Teenage Soul on Tough Stuff. It is a moving story of a teenager who realizes that her home is with her loved ones. Let's take a look at A House is Not a Home by Zan Gaudioso. The narrator describes her first year at high school. Before joining her new school, she had been a senior and enjoyed all the advantages that it offered. In the new school, she's a junior and a new student, and all her friends have been sent to different schools. The author feels isolated and lonely at her new school. She misses her old school, her friends, and her teachers. So, she visits her old teachers. They advise her to join different activities. This will enable her to adjust to her new school as well as make new friends. The author felt comforted after hearing these words. One Sunday afternoon, the author was doing her homework. Her cat was lying by her side. Her mother was adding wood to the fire to keep the house warm. Suddenly, the author smelled something strange. To her horror, she saw smoke coming from the ceiling. The author and her mother quickly ran out of their house. The author ran to a neighbor's house and called the fire department. Her mother, on the other hand, ran back inside and came out with a box of important documents. Then she ran back inside. The author was terrified to see her mother run back inside the burning house. She rushed forward to follow her, but a hand stopped her. The fireman had arrived. One of them had placed his hand around the author to keep her from going inside. When the narrator protested, he reassured her that one of his firemen would rescue her mother. The author, helpless, watched them enter the house. She forgot all her quarrels with her mother. She just wanted her mother safe. The firemen were able to get her mother out of the house. The author ran and hugged her mother. Then they both sat and watched as the firemen tackled the flames. It was then that the narrator made a horrific realization. Her cat had not made it out of the house. This realization was the tipping point for the author. Everything that had happened to her, going to a new school, losing her home and her cat, suddenly hit her with shocking intensity. She felt it was all too much. The author and her mother made their way to her grandparents' house. It was a dark time for the author. She had lost her house, her belongings, and she had to go back to school with her borrowed clothes and lack of books. She walked around in shock. She kept going back to her burned house and watched men clear away all the burnt rubble. She hoped she would find her lost cat. At school, she felt that everyone was staring at her. It was not the kind of attention she wanted as a new student. Then one day, while she was getting ready for gym class, her schoolmates kept coming up to tell her to hurry up. She found it strange, but she had become used to strangeness in her life. As she entered the gym, she saw a huge table loaded with things. The school had collected money from the staff and students and bought her school supplies, notebooks and different kinds of clothes. For the author, it felt like Christmas. 
but best of all everyone came up and introduced themselves to the author they also expressed their concern for the author by the end of the day she had made friends for the first time the author felt that things were going to be okay a month after the fire the author watched her house being rebuilt with her new friends suddenly a woman came up to her she was carrying her cat the author grabbed her cat and hugged her the woman had found the cat a mile away and had relentlessly searched for the owner the author thanked the woman for her kindness her happiness was now complete so a house is not a home reflects on the difference between a house and a home a house is made up of concrete and bricks a home on the other hand is something you make with your loved ones in the beginning of the story the author was concerned with all the things that were missing in her life but when her schoolmates extended an open hand to her her perspective on life changed she realized that her home was with the people who cared for her